Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Nova Drift. Uh, we're still waiting for the Diablo season to kick off, uh, so until there is a start date announced, uh, I'm angling on the fact that I'm not going to be wasting my time by producing these episodes and uh, they're actually going to be filling a lovely gap in the schedule. So uh, we're going to be carrying on uh, uh, doing Wild Metamorphosis again. It does seem to make things very interesting. Uh, so. Let's uh, hop on in and see what the game gives us. Now, I've not looked up um, any of the uh, like end game meta builds because I know people have uh, put a lot of effort into coming up with incredibly high score repeatable things to aim for. We're still very much at the case um, of experimenting and seeing what kind of things the game could give us. Uh, oh yes, of course. Uh, a bladed drone that shreds targets and fires upon them. Let's try the blade out. But yeah, we get uh, we get more options now. Assembly time 1.75 seconds. Oh, hey, it comes back. Cool. That's kind of cool, kind of cute. Uh-oh, that didn't quite go according to plan. Good enough. Good enough. Right, let's uh, let's get our shield. So what kind of shield do we want? Do we want the reflect shield, the shock probe shield? Bastion's always good. Let's go for the shockwave. I am a big fan of the shockwave shield. I think it'll it'll work quite well with what we're trying to do here. And when I say what we're trying to do, I have no idea what we're trying to do yet. We'll uh, obviously figure that out. As we get more things right. Next up, the body type. You can only deploy one construct at a time has extra damage rate of fire and assembly speed, uh, extra hull, hmm, so this would would make our blade awesome, but it means we couldn't have anything else. Whereas the Leviathan... It's all about crash damage. Let's uh, let's try the Leviathan. Hmm, this blade is not quite the ultra destruction thing that I would hope for in that situation. Let's uh, push this way. I mean, it's still very early days, of course. Okay, right. Mods. What are we going to go for? Extra hull strength? Heavy caliber increases weapon damage projectile size. Let's uh, let's get an ally. I think for the moment that's going to be the best thing we can do. Okay, more upgrades. Volley. There we go. Extra projectiles. Okay, extra projectiles isn't actually giving us extra project. Oh, it is giving us extra projectiles. Yeah, we just needed to actually have them built. Okay, that's fine. Okay, this just got a lot better. Ok, 
Okay, next up. Hmm. Let's uh let's get revelation with a plan to get a decent wild mod next time. Uh oh, get up. Oh, we lost one of our um, things. Must have been because it got stuck behind. That's kind of interesting. Okay, he's gone. Yeah, it's not hugely effective at some things, but it is very effective at others. Okay, what wild what are we gonna get? Rear firing weapons. Uh, that makes us run away. It's not recursive, though. I think we're going to re roll these. Yeah, let's. Uh, Reroll these. Ah, oh, Galvanic Outburst. Galvanic Outburst is an amazing one. We are definitely taking that. Okay, next up, another Galvanic Outburst. Let's really double down on our shield being amazing. And next up, ooh, an outrage module. Causes you to fire automatically when you take heavy damage. That's probably not going to help us much. Hypermetabolism is good, but let's um, let's make our shield better. Let's get out of the way of that. Okay, next up, bravado. Your enemies encountered are always elites or champions. Yeah, let's not get that. Let's uh, let's get some drones. I like the idea of uh, having more more assistance for when I'm running away from the stuff. Also very helpful for clearing out mines and things. And intercepting bullets and all kinds of other other fun things. Jeez, wave 30 already. I still don't feel like we actually have a build put together yet, but uh, okay, we got an upgrade. So, what are we going to do? Rapid fire. Velocity seems like a good plan. Yeah, let's um, let's go for velocity. Make our things hit harder. And next up, magnitude. Bigger, that's how I like it.
Wave 40, big thing incoming. Here it comes. Oh, that's not going to be good if these keep um, getting caught in it. Let's, uh, let's actually just go off the edge for a second and uh, then we'll uh, we'll come back. No, my lovely tail! Oh dear, that was a mistake. That was a horrible mistake. Scooched off the edge. The Leviathan, a little bit difficult to uh, to work with. But it was still uh, still good fun. Uh, let's have another go. That was uh, that was a very quick run in the end. And it's always good to do uh, a quick warm up run before you commit to things properly. Now, of course, if this this one doesn't work either, then this is another warm up run. So, in terms of weapons, I do think the, the Salvo is my favourite weapon of all of them. That's not to say the, uh, the others aren't good, but the Salvo just, it really fits my playstyle. Fire and forget. Bonus points for actually getting kills, of course. We'll uh, be getting a shield soon. Okay, what shield are we going to go for? We can try the amp one. So when amp is active, 20% extra thrust and weapon damage. Damage is further boosted for each threat inside the shield. Yeah. So I think if we're close to things, yeah, then uh, we get we get more damage bonus, and that could that could really work well for us. Okay, we've uh, got the body to pick. Carrier. Deploy swarm constructs whose behavior depends on the state of defenses. I am very tempted to go for the hull breaker. Probably doesn't fit the shield that we've got. But uh, we'll we'll start with it. Uh, let's um, let's get our hull regen up and try crashing through stuff. We can we can crash through stuff. I'm sure that's uh, that's going to work. We're going to shoot, of course, as well. I think uh, this would probably work better with the um, the pulse weapon. But we'll, uh, mm, yeah, reduce this whole regen while shields are up. Let's uh, let's improve thrust. No. No, we don't care about thrust, really. Let's improve the blast radius. Oh, we've got another another one to go as well. 
High explosive, even more blast radius, sure. Yeah, we have a very tiny shield at the moment. On the plus side, it means we'll be getting that amp bonus. Well, that that worked. I don't know if it was a smart move, but it, it certainly worked. Uh, let's improve our hull strength. And off that. Mm, rupture. So we're really focusing on uh, making things explode. Oh, we are doing lots of explosions. If I could get these bouncing back off, uh, off things as well, that would be pretty good for the moment. Now, charging headlong into bad guys isn't going to work when we come up against the boss. Okay, next one. Improve the targeting. Yeah, let's um, let's improve our targeting. Better homing is always good. Make everything a bit more efficient. Nice try. Almost got me. Right, we've got another upgrade. Juggernaut, larger, tougher, and slower. So extra hull, extra crash damage and knockback. Extra crash back, uh, crash knockback resistance as well. So with this, we could we could almost just like barrel on through everything. Before we get that, let's uh, get some damage absorption. That hurt a little, but not much. In fact, that, that worked really well for us. Okay, next up, Force Armor. Resistance to hull damage, increased crash damage, and a blast radius on crash damage. We're really going to be charging into things with this. Yeah, that, that kind of works. Obviously, I need to be better at crashing into things, but... Next up, rapid reconstruction seems like a really sensible thing, um, except it will get rid of our shield. So we'll lose the amp damage, but that means we'll potentially have other things to spend. So yeah, let's, let's go for that. And what do we want to spend on then? like the sound of Celestial Lance.
Although emergency systems won't won't help us at all. So it's probably better for us to focus on magnitude for now. Okay, next up Splinter. Oh yeah, I'm liking this ramming. The ramming is working for me. Question is, can I ram this? I can. I don't know how effective it is. Not very effective, it's not feeling. We have done quite a lot of damage already to it. All right, let's push through to this side. Vulnerability detected. I already know that. Okay, having a lot of hull resistance definitely helped. Okay, next up. Volley. Grants increased damage, maximum hull, at the cost of always thrusting. Uh, yeah! I'm fine with us always thrusting. Uh, this guy is actually doing quite a lot of damage, so... Yeah, he was a lot more damage resistant than I expected. After you fire your weapon, targets take extra crash damage. When you hit a target, your next weapon gets... Yeah! Skirmish is exactly the kind of thing we're going for. So we're really expecting to be crashing into things a lot now. So it's not it's not so much skirmish as um, jousting, but uh, I, I'm fine with that. Okay, next up. We do have re-rolls, so we could look to try and get something a bit more focused on what we're doing. Let's uh, re-roll and see what we get. Orbs of Disc... Ooh! Targets are less than or equal to 12% of the maximum hull are destroyed by weapon hits or crash damage. Yeah! Okay, so their shields are problematic for that, but we can get behind and ram them from the back. Well, that absolutely obliterated right through his shield. What can we do next? So, Essence Sap. I really liked the look of that until I saw that Hull cannot regenerate.
So I think let's get orbs of discord and we'll start looking at the wild mods. Fine, we'll do it from behind. I could really do with uh, with an ally to pick some of these things off. But you know, I'm I'm pretty effective at just face checking everything. This orb of discord is actually going to do a lot to help me out. Let's see what he's going to shoot off and then get our upgrade in. Okay. Phantom Strike is probably going to work well with what we're doing. That was a bit painful, but... It's fine. There we go. Face check. I'm all about using my face in this one. The, the body does make a huge difference to survivability. If possible, I would like to reduce the amount of damage I take with, uh, with padding again. But we'll obviously have to see how that goes. In fact, yeah. So if things survive when I ram them, we automatically turn around and fire, which means they're instantly going to take more damage. Just like that. That's really good. Assuming I can actually, like, charge at something. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Blitz. Targets will help take extra damage. Uh, yeah, that's amazing. We'll go for Blitz. Thought someone actually shot at me. better. Okay. Right. So, next up. Energized shields. Well, we don't have a shield at the moment, so that's not going to help us. Not sure if rear firing is going to be our thing. Constantly taking burn damage could be painful. Okay, let's um let's boost our blast. In fact no we've got rerolls. Let's re-roll. Yeah, adrenal module. I like the look of that. Extra plating. This is this is it. That's what I wanted. extra plating just because we're going to be charging into everything. And it improves our orbs of discord as well, which is lovely. Oh, tiny bullets. Tiny bullets everywhere. 
Okay, next up. I think I'm going to re-roll these. I would love to, to get another one of those Defiance mods, but I get the feeling it's not going to happen. Let's re-roll again. Ooh, grandeur. Causes you to become larger, increases your level. So extra size, crash damage, knockback, and knockback resistance. Yeah, we can go for that. Uh, which means we also get level up, so defiance. And then defiance again. So we're just turning into a massive hulking juggernaut. And I'm okay with that. This does feel like it's working well. Ooh, that actually donged us right on the nose. It did a surprisingly large amount of damage. Oh god. So did that. Okay, running through all the fireballs, probably not the smartest move. Uh, but doubling down on all the uh, all the hull and uh, ablative resistance, that definitely works. We might have to try that again in the future. Uh, unfortunately, we are out of time for this episode, so thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live otherwise i'll see you next time for another episode of nova drift see you soon <laughs>